afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. My name is Jean Duchesne. I'm the general manager for the Federation, the Quebec Federation of uh, Snowmobile Clubs. So uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk to you about uh, GPS, GIS, and mobile application. Um, for us, dealing with new technologies is uh, not only a, a, a way to, uh, to face the uh, modern issues that we uh, have to do, but it's also a fantastic way to uh, be in communication with our clubs and with our members. So uh, we decided in 2009 to uh, address those issues by setting a program uh, in, which is uh, to be in three phases. In phase one, we, we, uh, we wanted to get accurate data from the trail network. Phase two would be implementation of a GIS equipment, GIS system that will manage with those new data. And phase three would be the mobile applications that will make the communication between the club duration and the members. So I guess we have another issue. <laughs> territory. 
phase one was the to, to, to collect that precise data from the trail. So the only way to do that was to going out there with GPS. GPS installed in all the groomers of the fleet. So we got about four, 450, now close to 500 groomers in the fleet uh, in the 207 club. Uh, so make sure we do the right thing. We went out with a, a pilot project. Uh, we we uh, selected uh, three different companies, supplier, solutions, and we tested those three companies into 32 groomers in the area of Quebec uh, for one season and seeing uh, what, what kind of data we can collect from them, how precise which one is, reliable, if they can provide us with any French, things like that. <laughs> so, so at the end of the pilot, uh, we could, uh, well, we wanted to see also if th this is a good idea to go so, so far with Technologies and to implement that in, with, with clubs that are even not riding with any web uh, line some, some places. So anyway, at, at the end of the pilot, the success was, uh, was there. So we decided to implement the, the, the total network with GPS installed in all the rumor units. I have to say that by that period, uh, in our annual congress, we were having seminars explain to the club, the managers, what we were doing, why we were doing that, which phases we are going to go through. So they could understand it's, we're not trying to put uh, a GPS in, in the groomer to know exactly what they are doing because they are asking money in our different program. That was not the purpose of that. The first goal was really to get accurate information and to know exactly where our network sits. But there was also a second goal, because this thing provides so many information to the club itself to manage the equipment, to manage their, their people that, that, uh, that, that do the, the, the work, and to uh, do any kind of uh, planning for the future, how they're going to invest the money in the equipment, the maintenance program, things like that. So that was a, a very important goal that uh, we had to to the clubs to have them accept the technology and we have we wanted to have them want wanted this this thing happen. Which year did that start? Two nine the pilot and we did we implement the total network in two ten. Two ten. So as I said we installed four hundred and fifty or sixty GPS in two of time uh, two thousand time uh, ten in all the groomers so we got instantly a better knowledge of it, the entire trail network, real-time tracking of all grooming units, and reports for all unit activities. So the clubs are, are going through a learning curve that allows them to go into the website uh, and uh, extract from that their own uh, personal report. There are a list of 22 different reports they can, they can have on it. So that the system not only give us where the train, the trail are changing, but also uh, give us information that the clubs itself sometimes would like to uh, to hide from us <laughs> because they send us that they have uh, uh, seven seven hundred fifty kilometers of trail, but now we can see it's 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 more like uh, seven uh, twelve and things like that. So so it's 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 really a tool to equilibrate the uh, the per equation per equation for all the clubs. So, like I said, private access to detailed information about grooming's equipment, planning of trail maintenance activities also. So, a, a vital management tool for both of the FCMQ and, and the members. Phase two, once we got that phase plan, I mean, how can you work on a network when it's moving all the time? So before we had the GPS and the, the precise data from, in, from the GPS, we couldn't think of managing precisely anything regarding the network, regarding infrastructure, uh, location of the trails, all other kind of uh, information that you could collect. But 
now that you have, we have this, this base installed, we can start to implement a geographic information system that, would, that will give us the possibility to uh, not only analyze, but also react with the information that we are going to collect. Sorry. So we, have, we, we deal with the, the company with, for the RGIS. Uh, it's, it's, it's a tool supplied by ESRI Canada, which, which, is, which is ESRI United States, actually. They are a great provider. Many of uh, ministries and municipalities in Quebec use that system. So it was important to us to uh, set a system that is uh, very uh, easy to communicate with our different partners. So, and it, uh, so we decide, decided to go with, with uh, those guys, these guys. So the GIS system provides uh, or store and save all information pertaining to the network in one place. Gather information collected by different clouds that we see just after. Analyze changes made to the network. Generate statistics related to the network and its use and forecast for the future. So, like I just explained, now we can see the changes, the system see the changes, recognize the changes and give us an alert when changes occur. So, we can proceed with the changes in our own programs on the maps and we share the information with clouds. Sometimes even in the, in the same clouds there are some information that are not even shared within the members. So the analyzers are based on all the data that are collected by the GPS. So still in that phase two, we were talking about trails, but now we are talking about infrastructure. Uh, first, the first move was the trails, but now within the trails or on the trails, we got so many, maybe 2,000 bridges in the province. Uh, talking about bridges, but there are many different aspects of uh, trail infrastructure. So now we, we are getting into a, a, a pilot for the GIS in one region. So we, we are doing what we did with the GPS for the GIS. So we are now collecting all the data on the infrastructure and also for the for the right of way. So we want to measure what's going on. You know why the first, I would think the first goal for that is when the club is going to the municip municipality or for the government to ask for money. Now he's not only going with other people around the table and asking for a hundred thousand dollars which is a lot of money today. He's also coming up at the table with a business plan. What, look what my infrastructure work. Look what is the economic impact is. I need this $100,000 to, to keep the 5 million economic impact or 20 million economic impact. So the, the listing is very different. So preparing business plans needs to understand and know the infrastructure, the value of it, where it sits, and all this kind of information. So, so now the club will be in a position to do that by coming and taking the information from the master system that, that we develop. So we are not only logging the infrastructure with coordinates, we're also uh, taking the characteristic of the infrastructure, we take pictures of it, and it's all logged into the system. So we can come with very precise information on every single infrastructure, the year it was built, how much it costs, what is the condition, and, and when do you, we think it's going, to be good, it's going to need a maintenance, and what kind. Just just a part of it, just the base of, of it, is, is it going to be 5,000 to, to be, to be invested in that bridge in five years, or it's, if, if you forget the bridge in the nature, you're gonna wake up in, in uh, 10 years and it, was, it will be in the river already. So maintenance, planning, that's what we're talking about here. So now we, we, we got, with the pilot already almost completed yet, we can, we can generate different tables and we can see that over a region, if we have, let's say 300 different bridges, <coughs> how many bridges has to be maintained 
within the next year, <coughs> or it's going to cost 10 times what it will cost if we just go for maintenance. So we can generate the, the tables like this for a club. Well, our clubs, most of them, would never have any idea how to get to that, to that planning. But we are providing the tools. We are going to make the survey. We are going to develop the system. But it's going to stay completely open and fluid between the clubs and the federation. So the, the, the relation between the clubs and the federation by this system is a, a key factor here. We, if, if we build something that is uh, living by being nourished by the club uh, on, the, on a day-to-day -day basis, we're going to have a system that is very accurate and useful. <coughs> so a web-based interfa interface is developed for the clubs, thereby allowing locally gathered information to be added to the layers in the FCMQ GIS without any direct intervention, intervention by the FCMQ. We're going to valid the information that comes in, and it's going to be harmonized for, uh, for the entire 13 regions. Some regions say they are, they are more advanced than others. They will say, we don't need that, we have this. But the, the idea is that we have all the same tool, because at a provincial or a federal level, we want to have an idea of a total network, a total impact, a total condition of the total infrastructure. Uh, system. So we need that information to be able, to, we need to be able to put it all together, as well as for a club. So it, it is very important that we, we use the, sa the same tool, the same uh, open architecture that will allow club to come in and, 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 and bring information as well as taking information. So phase three now. With now we have information, we share it with the club. But the real way to share in these days, like you, we've, see, we've seen this morning about Facebook and Twitter, it's the mobile applications. By, by the mobile, <coughs> you get to every single person, every single snowmobiler, every single administrator in a club. Uh, we're talking to snowmobiler with the map, but we are also talking to the club manager with a mobile. He's going in the trail, and there's a, there's a dangerous curve here. There's a tree that shouldn't be here, uh, almost killed three person. So we forget about that. We just go through and think someday we're going to fix that. Or We see a lot of things, but the administrator, just by a little application, they will take that in note, and it will, it will go directly to the, the main system. And when you ask a request for the priority, emergency thing to do for the next year, it's, it, it'll come up. So it, it's a tool, fantastic tool, but it has to be easy. The administrator, snowmobiler, they have, they go in their pocket and just take three seconds and they go away. And it's, it's in the system, it's, it's processed, it's analyzed, and they can use it after. Well, most, uh, I'll tell you that most of it, it, it works with GPS and cell phone and cell line. So depending on the area, of course, there's some places where you don't have this uh, cell phone uh, cellular network. But the maps are in, in the application. So it they, they, they keeps in memory the application, the, the, the maps, and you still can use it. Or even if the trail network is in the phone itself. So even if you don't have anything in the background, you got your position by GPS on the trail. So if you got to an intersection, you got the intersection, you got a compass in it, so you, you cannot lose yourself with that. that that's, that's the first service provided, but it's implementing everything. I, I'll, I'll talk a little more about that. So this application, uh, that we just launched last season called Imotanej, you can buy. <laughs> Allows entire network to be viewed all the, uh, to view all the while guaranteeing great precision. Makes it possible to plan an itinerary. You will see it, I got a small video that shows everything. Include as many intermediate points as desired. Allows 
one to locate one's, uh, oneself on network in real time and allows one to do a search by town name and point of interest. A uh, question that will be will, will come to me, of course, uh, the financial question. Well, the iPhone, uh, the version we did develop, is sell, sold on the App Store for $2.99. We launched it at the end of January last year in an amount and a half we sold 4,000 copies. So with a, a, a quick uh, mathematic, you will see that it costs absolutely close to nothing to provide that service if you keep the, the result of the sell. So this, this is a fantastic service, but we don't see it as a profit center. We see it as a service. So the way we, 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 we manage the relation with our supplier, we want to keep it, keep him in the loop. We want to keep him here because it changes every day. The network change, we want to upgrade the, the, the network, we want to add another layer, we want to put some commercial on it, we want so we need them all the time. And we don't want to be bothered by someone who says, I can't find this uh, on the application I need. So they support the application with, with the website. They take care of the customer service and they do the refresh all the time. So I, we basically, we have nothing, nothing to do and it works by itself. So that was important to keep them in the loop. So we, we did have a commitment for them, so they are part of the revenue. So they have a good interest to implement that and to increase the quality because there will be more sell and for them for more money. So, and the deal, uh, when you do that, it's, it also costs a little bit less to develop the thing. So, here a quick video that shows how the application works. Well, of course, you can zoom in, zoom out at a very, very small scale. So you can get to as, as close detail as you need. You can do the best road, the shortest way, by going for the start, the end. It will give you the distance, the shortest distance, and show you the way, the best way to, to get there. You can also, you want to go by a restaurant or stop at the service station, you could could put uh, as many waypoints that you want. They will give you the, the row, including the, those waypoints. The other way, if you want to plan a trip, you select a city where you want to go, <coughs> or you go by city. Uh, the application will, will take you to the area where you want to go. You want to select the best way to get there because there's a, there are many trails, so you're going to ask the system what trail has been groomed lately. So it will give you, <laughs> you we refer to GPS, it gives you the last maintenance of this, like this part of trail. So you can choose to go their way, this way, this way, depending on the maintenance you have. After you choose your hotel where you, you want to you want to stay, it's all on your phone. The same when you plan your trip. So you have you have the choice of uh, of the hotel. You have now the choice to uh, to phone them, to to visit the website, and you make your reservation online within one step. show you what's going on with the application for the for the snowmobiler. It's it's also to show you how we're gonna communicate with the clubs to share information. It'll be the same kind of pattern that will be developed <coughs> for the clubs. So we expect that in the very near future the, the, the GIS that we have developed will be uh, all the time <coughs> nourished by the clubs would be all that will be living by the club itself that will give information in the system and they will take it back to 
go for financial or doing maps or whatever they want. And uh, with that kind of technology, we also address a new way to be interested to the, the activity. The, the newcomer, the new, the new snowmobilers are interested by those kind of things. So it, just, just the idea of dealing with technology is, is just, just a, a value added to the activity. Just bringing new uh, people to be interested in the club activities. You have young uh, snowmobilers in the trails. Once they've seen that you've got a, an iPhone and you look at the intersection and they, they are crazy about that. So they, 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 they didn't thought it could, could be possible. Yes, I got that question. Okay, so this application is available through Apple and iPhone. Yeah. Now there are many other smartphones out there. I yeah. have Droid. Yeah. I saw that the Droid would be up there. Yeah. This application will be available for those other smartphones or could be made available for all smartphones for um, yeah, well, I'll try to that across all uh, providers? Yeah, well, two platforms are actually the, it's iPhone and Android. Okay. With that, you cover, I'd say, 95% of our yep. Of yep. Of our clients. Mm -hmm. I'd say that. The BlackBerry is not really the same kind of
even the cellular network is, is, is cutting by, by places, it, it doesn't matter because the, the unit will keep all the data and will download when it gets to the port. But they, they use it and they love it. When they heard about it, well, you won't put that in my boomer. But now, try to, to take the GPS out of the boomer. <laughs> You're only going to sell me and not sell it. No, but I, I, was, uh, I was to say that some of these clubs that wanted to see live their equipment, even if they are very far, you, we can install a, a satellite uh, communicator, which, which, is which is about uh, twice the price. Same for installation, but uh, about $1,000. And it's the expense in Ontario. Pardon? Ontario has satellite. Yes. One of ours are expensive. Well, uh, Ontario has more feature on the. Uh, we decided to go with GPS, very, very simple. We don't want to have any problems, so we decided not to go with any future feature on it. We have to see the comparison. It's the same. Actually, they, they, choose, they, cho they have chosen the same supplier. Yeah. But more Over data. 42 RFP. We have more data capability. Uh, I don't think so. No? No. It's more like a, you can have a emergency button. You yes. can have a two-way communication. Yeah, which we don't use. Well, yes, yeah, some want to have it. And it, it's possible for any club to have it and change it for to, to uh, upgrade the system. But it, we, we have put in our uh, general rules for the Federation and the clubs that they have to provide us with the data from a GPS. We, we don't want to have someone disconnect Same system, but here's what's set up under easy to understand. We have two. Okay. <coughs> Is this overlaid with Google? I mean, how do you get all the information for all the restaurants, the gas stops? Yeah. Uh, well, well, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the well, you the mapping the in the at the end. At, at back is, is uh, with Google, of course. Okay. But the, the, the layers we, that you put on the maps that you well, track. Well, there are so many possibilities here. We, we can implement this commercial thing very fast. Okay. But <coughs> you know, our clubs are going to the restaurant and they getting some kind of uh, uh, sponsoring and things. So getting too fast and too okay. far into that would maybe would, wouldn't be suitable for our club. So we, we need to discuss this okay. strategy before. It could become a profit center easily, very easily. Oh, yeah. uh, everyone will be interested to it. You can go to a very, very, very uh, precise uh, scale. Uh, a little, little commercial thing for, for, for 75 bucks would like to be there and then mm -hmm. imagine the number, yeah. 33,000 kilometers. Yes? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Did you say, so like the more data that we input, going to cost more or is that no, still no, no. fee? Same, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. It's okay. just that the application will have more feature on it. More choice. When, more when it, it comes to an update, so you get, now you have restaurants, you have uh, dealers, uh, uh, gas station, uh, hotels, things like that. <coughs> but, uh, you, you could have more than that. Oh, tourist, uh, tourism information, uh, anything you could think of, it's very yeah. easy. And our, our developer is interesting in that because the more we give to him, the more we're going to sell and the more everyone is going to be happy about that. Yes, sir? Are your clubs uh, funded, are the funding your clubs receive based upon their trail mileage? Yeah. Well, no, sorry. Based on the uh, trail packs, sell it. 60% above. So and what they receive, yes. What they receive is 100 miles. Will they get less money than a club with 200 miles? No, no, no. Uh, you're, you're right. There's a, there's a part uh, of, of the money they receive that comes uh, from a, a, a mechanic uh, that, that, that we have that goes with the distance they have to. And the number of hours they uh, do the grooming. <coughs> that, that's the main thing. That's why this is good. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir? So you have a, all those maps that you see in Quebec. You have to see 
Yeah, we, well, any places, that's maybe a little bit the purpose of sharing that is if you, any federation or any state would be interested in going this way, we would be very happy to, to help them and to share. We did that with, uh, with other provinces already. So, so we input all of the information about the trails from GIS readings. All of it, and then, our, and then all of the, the, the gas stations and the commercial establishments that are interested in our, using our, all of our riders we want to go to. Now, do they automatically show up on us, or do they pay, uh, do they pay fees to... to well, it's, a, it's, to it's you to decide. I mean, if you have a commercial strategy that uh, says that uh, depending on the level of uh, zooming, for instance, we, you're going to charge that much uh, for the size of the... Well, it's, it's this do what you want it to do. If you want to have 5, 10, 20 layers, you can. If somebody has a restaurant on our trail, they want to be on the system. Yeah. Do we get money from them? Again. I'm the treasurer of my club. Well, you know, you, <laughs> if you want to, to do that, you can do it very easily. Do that. You have to get the coordinate yourself. Right. You have to <coughs> make the layer, of course. You won't find at the government a layer of the uh, the restaurants, but you make it yourself by going up, like we do with the infrastructure. We're going out, we take the coordinates and rest characteristics, and we link the website, the phone system, and everything. So that part you have to work on that. But you decide to whatever you want to do. And this all resides on your servers. Pardon? And this would reside on your servers. Yeah. One last question. You say that there's a box that goes in a groomer. I missed the price before. The unit of what the GPS itself? It goes in a groomer. It's about five hundred. Now this now this device has to have a monthly fee because it's basically a yeah. cell phone. Yeah, it's a line like a cell phone. Is there, but, an app, is there an app that would let a groomer operator with an iPhone or a droid actually use that as his GPS and recording device? And so that when he gets a cell signal or gets back to the clubhouse, he can dump it? And yeah, but like I said, this is not a rule for, for the clubs to be member of the Federation to give the data from a GPS uh, bo uh, inboard. That is, if I correctly understand your, your, your question, you can use your, your GPS, uh, this, your phone as a GPS if you want. But if, you, if you're a groomer operator, can yeah. you use the GPS phone as your input device to tell? No, the no, no. You have to have this device yeah. that tells Yeah, you very important that you have <coughs> something yeah. the same for everyone. Everyone, We uh, we provide the service to also because we want to have this data. This is important. Uh, yeah. I think, too, what you're saying, you want them to provide you the data. In Ontario, it goes to them automatically with the operation. And we have two people who can log in, providing they have password boxes. Well, yeah, you, you choose what you would do. You would go directly. Yeah, yeah. It's the same for us. You can add just one administrator per club to access those data. It's the only thing that works. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir? Who knows your GIS services? Do you do that in house? The GIS itself, yeah. Yeah, well, SRE Canada is, is, a, is a software provider, right. that, that, and they give they provide also training. So I have uh, I have I have a uh, 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 geomedicine. It's a, it's a it's a guy who work with uh, in, uh, computers and uh, geographic. So uh, you you need someone that can carry that in the organization if you want to do. Uh, control the GIS. You need someone to do that. But so whenever it's a question of GIS, we are controlling that. But the services we pay, we, we give it outside, like I said, for the uh, development. development. So does that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Two quick questions. One, is the data public or private? Can someone else get a hold of it? On you mean our network? Yes. Shapefile are private. So I can't get yeah. on there somehow. Yeah. Secondly, do you have the ability or are you planning on the ability of tracking, say, another rider? If I want to meet someone for lunch yeah. at a restaurant, can yeah. I get on this thing and say, okay, you know, Mike's 20 miles out? Sure, you, you are in our head now. <laughs> <laughs> You know why? 
why? Because if you do so much work on the strategic level on that, you you need you need to protect it. Yeah. You don't want well Garmin phone me and we'd like to have your network. Sorry. <laughs>